Macy. Co-main event bout, um, pretty big opportunity here. How are you feeling ahead of this fight? I'm feeling great. I'm uh, super excited. It's nice to have a quick turnaround and, and be back here and be on a co-main event spot. Yeah, and you're on quite a streak, a four-fight four fight win streak, potentially five on Saturday. Um, what, what, is this, what, what, a, what does victory could mean here? Like, are we talking about title shot, title contention? Like, what are you thinking uh, you're fighting for on Saturday? Yeah, I think that's um, definitely a possibility. You know, I have been chasing that rematch. Um, obviously, that's something that I want back from Alexa Grasso, uh, whether that's, you know, the next fight or the fight after, you know, because I know that, you know, obviously Valentina probably wants her shot back. And um, so that has to happen. But um, whether Alexa has the title or not, I still want a, a rematch with her. So um, the five fight win streak uh, means a ton, you know, obviously no one wants to have a win streak and then go on a, a losing streak. So um, I'm planning on continuing the four fight win streak and turning it into a five. Yeah, for sure. And uh, speaking about your opponent, I want to ask you about Alex in a minute, but um, speaking about Amanda, she's fluctuated between 115 and 125. She's had some mixed results. Um, overall, what have you made of her 125 venture? Do you think it's been successful? Do you feel like she's looked good overall? What are your thoughts on her at 125? Um, I, you know, I, I don't know because I've fought at 115 as well. I moved up to 25. Um, for health reasons and you know I think that for me you know I really enjoyed that that move up um but I also feel like this could be the fight where I solidify the idea of going back down to 115 you know um I know that I've heard that she is thinking about going back down so I think this this fight would really just make that answer in her mind of what she wants to do um, have you gotten to see her at all I know we're early in fight week but have you seen her in person no no I haven't okay. And um, I wanted to ask you also um, about uh, just Amanda, obviously four or five win streak. Did you feel like this was an appropriate next step after defeating Andrea Lee? Yeah, I mean, I talked with Mick and we, I wanted a quick turnaround and um, this is who was available and it made sense. You know, I talked to the coaches, of course, and it, it made sense. Obviously, we got back into camp and put in the work and now we're here. Um, I also think it makes sense from like the ranking standpoint, you know, I'm 11, she's number nine. I think that's a good step. Um, and just, you know, continue to, to work my way back up. Yeah. Um, and just real quick, uh, Alexa on the UFC official rankings, she's now pound for pound, uh, on the female rankings is number one, obviously with Amanda Nunes retiring. Mm -hmm. Is your reaction to that? Do you feel like, uh, it was merited. Uh, what are your thoughts on, uh, you know, the champion in your weight class being pound for pound number one right now? I think it's great. You know, it, it is cool to see other women have success and, and especially um, all the girls that I've fought, you know, the better they do, the better it continues to look on not just me, but on, on them too. And um, I'm happy for her, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I want to see every woman and, and everybody have their chance at achieving their dreams and their goals. And, um, I know that mine will come, so I'm I'm happy for her. But at the same time, I'm out here working to to come and claim that. Lastly, um, do you hope in a way that she beats Valentina in the rematch, so that there's no trilogy or anything like that, and that you get to have a chance at a rematch and also for a championship belt? Yes and no. Like I feel like I'm going to control the things that I can control, and that's going out and winning um, over Amanda, and then continuing to train and, and get better and, and evolve, so that when my time comes, I'm ready. Um, and whatever happens, happens. You know, I think it would be cool to see uh, a new champ in there. So for Alexa to continue to win, I think that that would be awesome. But at the same time, she's got a tough fight in with Valentina. You know that isn't just like an easy out. Valentina was the champ for so long for a reason. And um, I think it's an exciting fight to see the second one. Um, I don't know if I want to watch the same fight three times, but um, seeing the rematch would, would be good for sure. Macy, just a quick one for me. Obviously, Amanda Nunes has just retired. She's considered the greatest of all time amongst the women by many. Do you have any thoughts on her retirement? Was she an inspiration to you? And what do you think about her walking away? Yeah, I think any... Anyone who is as dominant as she was for so long has to be an inspiration to all the fighters, you know, um, especially females. You know, she's done so much for, for the sport and for women, you know, just achieving amazing things and being a double champ. And, and she's done so much. Um, I think the only thing that I didn't like was how much Juliana was 
talking crap. Like that was the only thing that was just like, that's just cringy. But um, that was probably the only thing that I thought about the retirement that I didn't like. Um, and I wish Amanda all the, the success in the world and, and the happiness, you know, she's got a family with Nina and, and it's really cool to see that. So, um, good for her. So that's not something we could ever expect from you to threaten to storm the cage during someone's retirement speech. I think that that was very stupid. Um, yeah, I just think that like she, you never know what's going on in someone's life. And if she wanted to call it done, you know, she called it done and like, who's to say that you can't retire, you know? Um, I think that if uh, Amanda hadn't retired and she fought Juliana, I, I think that Juliana got out very easy on that, you know, I, I, having the shot at keeping that belt. Macy back here. Um, I saw Corey McKenna got her rollerblades. Did she make it through your camp this time without a concussion? <laughs> Can you confirm that? Yeah, actually, I didn't train with her as much this uh, this camp. She's been, you know, she has a lot of health things that she has to deal with on her own and um she's out training getting married she actually got married yesterday so um yeah she she was good this camp I didn't I didn't hurt her at all and then uh what's the relationship like between you and Mike Malott I see you guys kind of supporting each other on Instagram I know he was a big presence at Alpha Male and uh what did you think about his performance in Vancouver a couple weeks ago I think his performance was incredible. You know, he's a fun fighter to watch. He's um, definitely an inspiration. He works really hard. Um, I haven't gotten to see him in, in a little bit of time, you know, because he does spend a lot of time training in Canada. But uh, he's part of the Team Alpha Male team. And, you know, when he does come out and train, like, it's – you can know – you know that his, he's in the room because his presence is there. And um, he's someone that's very inspiring to train alongside. Macy, do you get out after fight night in town? I talked to Josh last week, and he said, I like going out and seeing what wineries are in town and good food and fine dining. Do you get out in the areas that you fight in and, and see the best take in the area? Yeah, I like to see the area. I'm not necessarily like a party person, you know, but um, I'm down for whatever. You know, I do like to go and experience the t city and, and the places I get to fight. You know, it's been a – very cool thing to be able to fight Boston, Nashville, Jacksonville. Um, so when COVID hit, it was it was kind of sucked because we didn't get to go and experience the fans and the town and like just the environment and, and take it all in. So I'm very happy to be here. And, and yes, I do like to go out and, and experience the, the places that I fight. Thank you.